Hi, so I'm pretty sure I've said this many times before, but the comment section of the channel are a source of great inspiration to me, actually. I love reading through the posts, and I actually always think about them. Now, particularly, there was one post where a chap was saying he can't decide what to do. He's having a look at all of this stuff, he's getting conflicting advice, he's been to forums, and what is the best way to go? And, and actually, that struck me, hey? And I've been mulling that one over for quite a while before doing this video, because I I actually think it's a fairly common problem. What do you do? Where do you go? Why is all the advice conflicting? And, and these are things that can completely stump you and stop you doing what it is that you want to do. And the way I think is um, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and of course that's kind of harsh to think that way because it must matter because it costs money. So it must matter. But in a sense I don't think it really does. Now, if you've ever read um, Gulliver's Travels, then you know that Gulliver went to Lilliput and there was a, a war going on there between the Big Endians and the Little Endians, and they were fighting about which way was the right way to eat an egg. Top end, a big end, or little end? And they were having this huge war about this. Now, when Swift wrote that, it was actually a parody of the troubles that were going on in Parliament and the Church. But it seems to me, very often, we're having the same arguments. It's like we've um, not stepped out of the Stone Age. It's like we're Stone Age man with electric lights and we're still having the same kinds of arguments. Now, when it comes to solar or wind, the whole camp of people who will tell you that solar is better because the wind never blows. Then there's a whole camp of people who will tell you that wind is better because it's about, I think it's a, a kilowatt hour, is it a watt hour? I'll, I'll make this up for comparison, okay? It's a kilowatt hour per meter squared, whereas a solar is 0.3 kilowatt hours per meter squared. It's something like that in that order of magnitude. There's more power in the wind than there is in solar. And of course, you can justify whatever argument you want to make. If you've ever watched uh, a thing called uh, In the Loop, it's a great film actually, and it was from a TV series called The Thick of It, and it was about the political life in um, in England in the behind the scenes kind of parliament. And in one bit, they have an expert who comes along to testify that a certain policy they want to implement is a good policy. The minister has had a word from an expert who says exactly the opposite. And the advisor sits there and says, well, it just depends which expert you t speak to. You can always get an expert to back up whatever opinion you want. And of course, it sometimes seems like that, that there is always an expert to tell you that one way is right, and if you look, you'll find another equally valid expert telling you completely the opposite. Now, whenever there are situations like that, what it suggests to me very strongly is it's like that because it really doesn't matter. That actually, if you go one way or you go the other way, at the end of the day, given everything, including costs and time and sun and experience, it's going to be six or it's going to be two threes. Now you get the same argument within the wind camp. There's a whole bunch of people who'll tell you, don't bother with vertical turbines, they're rubbish, they're at best 10% efficient and you won't get this out of them and you're wasting your time and your money. Then there's a whole bunch of people who'll tell you, don't bother with horizontal wind turbines, they're rubbish. <laughs> they only work if you're out at sea and they only work if they're massive and, and so on and so on. And there's always really good, strong, justifiable reasons why what they say is true because it's all true and what makes me or rather what that makes me think is it doesn't matter if you go one way you'll have one result if you go another you'll have another and they're probably gonna be just about equal so what is the issue here I think the issue here is it doesn't really matter much which decision you make it matters that you make a decision and you go that way. If you spend enough lot of time vacillating and sitting there worrying about which decision to make because you want to make the best decision, what you actually do is make no decision. And so you sit there doing nothing for absolutely ages, hoping that something will convince you to go the right way. And of course, nothing ever does. You just get more and more conflicts. And people will go to things like, forums uh, and 
Forums I have found to be singularly the worst place to go. If you go to a forum, you'll get exactly that, conflicting opinions. And if there's a couple of gurus from different camps in it, then there'll be a vicious argument about who is right as they try to dress each other down in these pages and pages and pages of insults that gradually get worse and worse and worse. Forums are just full of this kind of thing. Now, I've found a couple of forums useful every now and then, but the bulk of them are found to be next to useless. And so you go to a forum and it doesn't help with your confusion, it just makes the confusion worse. So unless you make a decision and you follow that decision, the net effect is you do absolutely nothing. And that's the worst thing in my mind, because in my mind, it isn't about best. They're all about equal, I think, to me brutally honest, when you've added everything up, it all comes about equal. And I'm sure that it's going to be a camp who tells me I'm wrong about that and that this is the best way because, and then there'll be another camp telling me I'm wrong what I've just said and the opposite way is best because. That always happens with this sort of stuff. I basically just ignore it because I'm just hearing babble in my ears. And of course, if I listen to that babble, I'll get pulled either way and just won't be able to make a decision. So I make my own decisions. Because I know that the important thing is, not which is best, the important thing is to make a decision. You make a decision and you follow that through, you're doing something. It may not be the world's best, but it is something. And you will achieve something with it, but you'll achieve nothing at all if you never make that decision. So that hunt for the best answer. When it comes to something where there are competing answers and they're as convincing on one side or the other, is seriously telling you it doesn't matter which way you go. Now, wind is seen as being the most accessible source, the easiest and cheapest to actually implement to generate energy. Solar is seen as a, a more efficient method that needs less requirements and lasts longer. Neither of those uh, that I've just told you is going to help you in the least, of course, because you're now going to have to balance that up yourself. But it really, I can't say this often enough, it really doesn't matter. When you get competing to things like that, where they're all convincing arguments from one way or the other, the path through them is decide on something. You may not choose the absolute best, but you're never going to be able to choose the absolute best in an environment like that. The best I think you can do is make some decision and go with that. Now, you will have regrets in that decision. There will be things you think you wish you had done differently. Oh, 100%. But it wouldn't be any different if you made the opposite decision. All that would happen is that your regrets would be different, but you would still have those regrets. So expect to have regrets. Expect to think, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I'd done that instead. Because if you did that instead, you'd be thinking exactly the same thing in the path you just went down. So the key thing, the important thing is, when you're hearing conflicting opinions, just make some decision, because the chances are it doesn't make a blind bit of difference whether you eat your egg from the big end or the little end. Anyway, I'm saying all that because um, that comment played on my mind. I hope that actually helps. I suspect it may not. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.